Atmos TV Entertainment without bound. Hey there, welcome to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. On Trending today, due to the fight between herself on her side of the story following the face-off between herself and Tiwa Savage, let's check out what she has to say. Hello. Hey. Hey, babe, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? <laughs> I'm not good or I'm not happy at all. What's going on? What's all this on the internet? Yeah, I woke up this morning, I prayed, I meditated, I went to the gym, I thought it was going to be a great day. Something was telling me that today is going to have some some curveballs in it, right? But it's going to be good. Um, from the gym, I went to the salon. First I went to the nail salon, got my nails done. Then I went to the hair salon to arrange my hair for idols on Sunday. So I walked into the salon, or tie your cuts on knee, um, some something knee, you couldn't be whatever, and I saw Tiwa. As I saw Tiwa, I, I sat down. I said, "Let me just chill, do you understand, and let me know. Let me just maintain my my distance because you know people were in the salon were already. I could feel the tension in the room. They were like, "Oh, looking at me, looking at her," and actually that's what made me stand up and go and greet her because. I could see that people were looking at her and looking at me, right? And I felt like, no, I'm not going to feed into this. I'm not going to let people think that wrong. Do you understand? So I went up to her. She was sitting under the dryer at this point. So I just tapped her on her shoulder. I said, hey, Tewa, how are you? She said, ah, oh, hey, how are you? I said, I'm fine. She said, good. So I said, you know, good. And our eyes just kind of locked a little bit and we just exchanged pleasantries. And then I went back to sit down. And then I started talking to the shop owner, the hair salon owner. Um, and this is like 20 minutes later. Tiwa came back over to meet me where I was. And she said, and I quote, Shayi, in your dirty, stinking life, never ever greet me outside anywhere you see me again. I was so confused, <laughs> but I just said, okay, I won't, sorry. But she still continued to scream. And this time she was screaming that, oh, me and that bitch, you and that bitch, Victoria Kimani, you, um, you wrote, you did a song about me and you think I don't know it was about me. She, all the things you have done to me over all this time, you think I'm going to forget. So then it occurred to me that she was talking about the fuck you challenge that I did in 2017. Is it not 2017 or or so? And then about don't forget, since then, I've seen her outside. Oh. We've seen each other in different places. I've said hello. She said hello back. We've even entered the same private jet together. Do you understand? We've said hello. We've taken picture together. So in my mind, I'm like, why is she acting crazy? She's saying me and Victoria Kimani were sluts, were whores, were a bitch, that me, I'm, I, she will never forget that I'm a bitch. Look at my skin. Meanwhile, me, I just did a chemical pill. So you know how chemical pills leave your skin looking crazy after you've just finished doing one? And I, I looked on her face. She too, it looked like she had done a chemical pill. She was kind of scabbing. But I just said, hey, you know what? She's definitely angry about something, but it cannot be this fuck you challenge. How? After how long? Do you understand? Okay. That's when she not proceeded to scream that. You know, first of all, like, I'm confused at how she could, like, a mother, a mother swears on her son's life. She said, uh, if I'm lying, God should take my son's life right now. If what I say is a lie, God should... Like, in my mind, I was so confused. When she said that, I was shocked. Crazy. Because I thought to myself, wait, this girl, what is she swearing on her son's life about? That what? She was not like... She was just being so discombobulated, just saying different things, shouting. Wait, why are you so angry she said i mean i have a black spirit i be dirty spirits in me and in my mind i was like it takes a dirty spirit to know a dirty spirit girl you know 
And in my mind, I was like, this is so crazy. Even the shop assistants tried to, you know, calm her down and stop her, but she was still charging at me. She wanted to attack me. That You were there now. I put it on. In fact, I yeah. recorded the whole conversation. Yeah, of course. This is the same girl that went to go and attack a popular male artist that we all know for featuring on, his, featuring on, on one of my songs and featuring in, on her song too. This is the same girl that went to go and approach a very big uh, brand that we all know and uh, uh, threaten them to take them to court unless they take me off the ambassadorship. Because she was pregnant at the time. And how can they put me as an ambassador? You know, you know, all these things that have been going on all these years that I've said nothing about because at the end of the day, like her stealing my song, her, you know, making up rumors and lies and just you know, to the, to, to the brands and every that it just makes me, it just makes me feel like, you know, that fuck you challenge really was nothing compared to what I could have done or said to her in the past. So it's just unfortunate, really. Babe, listen, my, my, my big sister is calling me. So I need to, I'll call you back. Yeah. I'll call you back. And that's all we have for you today on trending. Let's know what you think about what Shayishi has to say. Remember to like and subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV before you go. Subscribe to Eniola Bibles TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And Eniola Bibles TV Entertainment without bounds.